just thought I'd give everyone an update. Um, I'm leaving my pod today. Why is my thing saying the key word? I'm going to wipe it. Pack my bags. And I'm leaving. Two nights in a row, I haven't slept. Right? And I need my sleep because I'm epileptic. Yeah? Last night was just too much. All these fucking junkies. Fucking wasters, mate. Fucking... What's the point in coming to these pods, yeah? And being up all night and thinking it's a party. They treat the place like it's a party. Well, I try really hard not to use drugs. More than a lot of people, yeah? I have to step back from people. Right now, my mental health has gone really through the fucking roof. Anyway, I'm going to hit the streets again. Because I feel safer that way. I can keep walking. You know what I mean? Probably don't. Some some of you are going to understand what I mean. But I can't stay in these pods anymore. It's a beautiful day out. And as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Sun's shining. So, I'm going to get my kit and fuck off. <laughs> I can't be dealing with these fucking... Do you know what it is? Security in this place. Don't do nothing. Alright, at night. And if you don't have rules, you have chaos. I used to tell Judy Stodden this all the time. No rules, chaos. And that's what this site is in Camborne. Camborne Chaos Site. The junkies are loving it. That's what you get a PIP and everything else. Me, I'm on £97.50 a week. Job seekers. <sighs> Fair enough. Anyway, I've packed up my stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with my artwork. Just probably throw it all in the bin. Yeah. I'm going to leave that food here forever. That dog food here. Just in case I see someone with a dog. <laughs> the kind of person I am. But, um, yeah, it's time to see if the tramp went back on the street. This is a council run project. They charge over the, the sip these pods at £1,075 a week. It includes servicing. I've not seen anybody from the offices to talk to. They haven't serviced me at all. Too busy with their Christmas holiday, which lasted over two weeks. But there you go. It's only another day to them. To me, it's another day of living or dying. But anyway, by the way, if you've got epilepsy, you'll understand what I mean. You need your sleep. Now I'm stressed. What happens next? Seize you up, seize you up, seize you up. The epilepsy ain't, ain't great, mate. I need more, but there's one thing I can't do, and I've opiates. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I should be careful in what I say. But I'm clean. Do you know what I mean? I ain't even on the drink. Let alone anything else. But yeah, time to say goodbye to the pod. Because in the morning, I'm going to wake up, have a shower, shit in a shave, eat some food and walk out that day because if they want to pander to junkies all the time that's up to them so what are they going to do with them house them somewhere and then they're going to lose that in three or four months because they're twats can't handle anything me i'm 51 and i've been on the road over two years maybe i've got used to i mean no one gets used to living on the streets from my temper So, to be honest, I'm being honest with myself this time. This place is dangerous for me. I don't want to start pinning up. I've come so far. Stay me super damn bad.